Afternoon folks, uh, happy Father's Day. It's uh, been a little bit of a, a while since I, I've, I've done anything, but it's been busy. Just got back from a 10 mile walk with the dogs as well. Well, Caroline's been over to Lincoln, so you know that, and uh, they're absolutely jiggered, uh, and so am I. So, been up to a few bits. Homemade trickle shower, packy shower, whatever you want to call it. A load of alpha grog and some watercress growing in there. Out of a couple of old plant pots. Just to try and quieten the noise down the fall from the water fall into the water, which is far too much. So it seems to be uh, working a treat. Bees are all doing well. Just had some mealworms. And uh, yeah, beautiful day, isn't it? Beautiful day. So we'll have a quick move around. Just a quick one today, really. Have a look and see what's going on. But, uh, yeah, they're looking fantastic. Tough job. So, uh, believe it or not, we have got about 120 fry in here. But it's really difficult to see them because of the glare on the water. Um, but they're doing, they're doing quite well now. They're starting to, starting to really hit the food. Our the temperatures have just not been anywhere near, so these are probably between 3 and 5 cm most of these. Um, but uh, the temperatures are just not really getting above 16 degrees, so they're not hitting the food as hard. And, and since I've split them up, um, they've been an awful lot better. Uh, but yeah, but these, are, these are doing okay. These are doing okay. So there's a few nice ones in there. Um, but we'll, we'll have a look and see whether we can see the ones in the other pond uh, a little bit better. So uh, yesterday I got the uh, easy pod on here. <coughs> We're just cultivating Daphne over there now. Uh, as you can see, nice and green. Uh, this had actually dropped clear itself. I haven't got any UV on or anything. This was um, green as pea soup. It was fantastic. And then it's, it's, it went clear within a few days. Um, so I can only assume that the, uh, the Daphne are blooming and eating all the algae and now the fish have eaten all the Daphne here, so um, let's see if we, can, if we can see any of these. Uh, I have put some videos on them. Maybe it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit like we're just getting reflections. Oh, no, will we see any passing by? There's one. Well. Uh, but there must be. I don't know. There's got to be a good. Probably about a good five or six hundred in there, I would have thought. Um, they tend to hover around under the plants and then swim around underneath there as well. But they're doing. Uh, they're actually doing really quite well. Uh, again, there's some slightly bigger ones in here, but I don't think the camera's going to pick them up. There's a couple over there you can see. Um, but again, about average about 5 cm in here at the moment, which is a bit small, but that's my own fault because I, uh, I've got too many and I couldn't get enough decent food into them. Uh, so, I'm swimming by there. So, yeah, um, I know for next year definitely I'll be cutting back, uh, but that's doing its job, that's performing nicely. So that'll just make the water a little bit better and they're big enough now that they can stay away from the filter uh, and the plants are doing a good job of uh, taking any nitrite or anything like that out so uh, nitrate rather so uh, that's all good i need to change the uv in here i've uh, drained it down and give it a good clean and it's still still murky um so the, this is the uh, these are the ones that will be going to the national um Unfortunately, with the exception of the Karashi guy, which is a crying shame because she is absolutely stunning. Body shape on it is amazing. Um, but she does have koi box. Um, and for as much as it's not a, a massive amount and, and you can show with koi pox, I've chosen not to. So there's only four. Uh, four will be going to the show this season. Uh, and then we'll see how we see how we go for next year. But they're doing well, uh, obviously separated out so I can manage to feed a bit better. But again, water temperatures have just been awful. So uh, 
so they've, they've not put a load of size on or anything so we just start to condition them off over the next two weeks see how they get on and then uh, last for five minutes no means we've got an absolute mountain of dry we've got about five weeks behind the others so but nevertheless there's still some that are doing really well um, and there's some much paler ones you can see a couple of them down there uh, and there's a few of those uh, there's a few of those in there um, but as you can see there's, uh, there's plenty of them um, and I have put some room from the side on that which is good which is good um, at the moment I'm making my own feed I'm using the, the new forest feed I'll show you in a second uh, and a coffee grinder uh, and I'm, uh, I'm making my own uh, making my own feed and I'm just smashing it so so it's, uh, so it's all good but yeah see down there there's, uh, there's plenty of them uh, and I'm hoping that some of these are going to turn out nice those paler ones I'm really looking forward to seeing and you've got the sort of grey ones and then the very dark ones in between Second batch of fry. Just doing a filter clean. Put the food on. Yeah. Well, that's just that corner. Just a few, just a few. So yeah, on the whole, it's not doing too badly. So I'm gonna wait for the missus to get back, sit in the sun, probably have a cider or two, and enjoy it. Sit and watch these guys buzzing past the window. So, um, I think that might be it now until the national. So I will see you there if you if you're going. Give us a shout. Um, come and say hello. It's always nice to uh, to see everybody. I do enjoy uh, do enjoy the get together. So I look forward to seeing you guys down there. Uh, and good luck to everybody who's entering. I think it's going to be a cracker this year. So take it easy, folks. Have a good week, and I'll see you soon.